<laughs> Hello and welcome, <clears throat> my lovely parents, and uh, to all of you <clears throat> Yu Gi Oh fans that are watching my videos, um, to the you know, to the growing audience. This episode, I'm gonna tell you my personal top 10 uh, cards from the Legend of Blue Eyes. Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG set, that's the original TCG set, <clears throat> and uh, uh, it is of course my personal top 10, so it can be different from uh, for everyone else, uh, and uh, let's just go with it, at number 10 with Guy and the Fierce Knight, I don't, I don't need to explain what it is, it's an Earth level 7 normal warrior monster with 2300 attack power, and 2100 defense, and it was uh, used by Yugi in the anime. That's it. I mean, it's a cool, badass, dual like spear wielding uh, knight, you know, riding a horse. And uh, that's it. <laughs> uh, at number nine is my is one of my most favorite vanilla spell cards, and that is the good old. Uh, Swords of Revealing Light. Now, again, I don't uh, think I should need to explain why... Well, I need to explain why I like this card, but I don't need to explain what it does. So I like it because back in the day it was one of the best ways to uh, stall for draws and combos and uh, to make a comeback. Uh, pretty much <laughs> that's the only reason. <clears throat> that I have, uh, and, uh, yeah, it's just, and the art on it is amazing, uh, its rep representation in the anime was also amazing, you know, um, the holograms of these swords just coming down from the sky, locking down your opponent's enemies, uh, it was fun, very fun. On number 8 we have the good old Red Eyes Black Dragon, now that's a dark level 7 dragon, normal monster, that Joby won from Rex in the Duelist Kingdom uh, arc, and it's pretty much become a staple in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, as, you know, as a... Uh, among the main archetypes. And uh, even it uh, got some newer support recently with a new fusion monster. At number 7, we have... The Mystical Elf. Now, the Mystical Elf is a very special card. It is, for its time, very strong because it's a level 4 light spellcaster normal monster with 2000 defense points. And your opponent would need to summon something extremely powerful or use some spell to destroy your Mystical Elf. That's it, it's just a very, very high wall that only a few could ever pass. Then on number 6 we have the good old Monster Reborn, it's still banned in the TCG uh, part of the Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, it is not banned in the OCG land, but I don't play OCG, I just play TCG, so um, it's on number 6 because it was a fun card to play with back in the day, uh, you can just pretty much revive special summon a monster from either player's graveyard on your field. Um, and in some cases, it would make like <laughs> it would make friends not be friends anymore. If you killed your opponent's your friend's monster, you know, boss monster, and you just revived it on your field, you know, uh, it's a funky spell card, and it, there it, it it is banned for a reason. Although there's many many things that can stop it nowadays, but back in the day, man, it was powerful. <laughs> Uh, on number 5 we have the Maneater Bug, now that's a very... When I look at this card I have mixed feelings, I have very fond memories when I've destroyed my opponent's boss monsters like Blue Eyes White Dragons and etc. And I have bad memories on the other hand from when my own monsters were destroyed by this monster. But why is it so special though? It's a level 2 Earth Insect flip effect monster, which states that when it's flip, you can you can target a monster on the field and destroy that target. Uh, and back in the day, there was almost there was literally almost nothing that can stop this effect. 
unless you destroy it with some spell that does not flip it. That was the only way to not trigger the effect. And most decks back in the day ran three of these. Three of these. <laughs> On number 4 we have the good old Dark Hole, a card that I still use to this day in not, mo not most, not all, but in some of my decks. Uh, it is a semi-limited card in TCG right now, for reasons, um, but it's, it's a very fun card, it simply destroys all the monsters on the field. It's one of those zero fucks given cards, and uh, yeah. Uh, although back in the day... Uh, for a period of time, people ran the counter trap to the dark hole, which was the white hole, uh, which I still run in some of my decks, uh, and in some of my decks I still run in their side decks, uh, which is fun, uh, because people never actually never expect to see your opponent to have white hole, uh, the white hole trap card on your field. Like what? They will what the fuck? Who the fuck plays that shit? And yeah, I do. <laughs> And on number 3 you have the good old Blue Eyes White Dragon, I do not need to explain this, it's on number 3 because the first two I just love more, it doesn't mean that they're better cards, but I just like them more. Uh, on number 2 is the good old Dark Magician, the main monster card, the ace monster of Yugi Muro, in the original Yu-Gi-Oh, nothing more to say about it. And on number one is my most favorite card, the one card that I've been using super, super much. There is not a single deck that I own that does not have this card. And this card is Raigeki, the spell card that destroys all monsters on your opponent's side of the field. Oh, yes. I mean, even today, if your opponent doesn't have a means to negate a spell, just, just, just seeing, the, witnessing the despair that your opponent like uh, shows when you destroy his entire field of monsters. That is one of the most priceless things I have seen and I still cherish up to this day because I see it on a regular basis. Um, I just love Raigeki uh, and I, I was very 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 sad for that period of years where it was banned in the TCG. But when they, you know, unbanned it and made it limited, even at one, one card in a deck of 40, it's like, it's like having a Bankai, like seriously. <laughs> I mean, we're going to another anime, but it, 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 Raigeki is my fucking Bankai, you know? <laughs> and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, my lovely parons. Uh, if you have your own top dance, please write them in a comment below. Uh, if you agree or disagree with my list, you can just tell me. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. May the force be with you, always.